What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And today we're diving into a hot topic that's been happening in the tech community. And that's how to make serious money in tech without relying solely on certifications or degrees. Now there's been a lot of buzz around this idea lately. And while there's some truth to it, I believe there's more to the story. And in this video, we'll explore a balanced perspective on getting into tech. So whether you're just starting out or looking to level up your career, stick around as I break it all down. Now, there's a common argument that focusing on skills and problem solving is more important than getting certifications or degrees. Now, while skills are crucial, I believe certifications and formal education still hold significant value. Today, we'll go through some key points and offer insights based on years of experience in the tech field. We'll also discuss how certifications and degrees can complement your skills and enhance your career opportunities. Let's dive in and see how these elements can work together for your benefit. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, let's start with the idea that the system pushing you towards certifications or degrees is flawed because it doesn't necessarily help you solve real world problems. Well, here's my take. While it's true that certifications alone won't make you an expert, they provide a structured learning path and validate your knowledge to employers. Think of certifications as a stepping stone. They open doors and give you the foundation to build upon. Another point often made is that becoming an employee makes you dependent on others for your financial security. Now, while freelancing or consulting can offer more control, it's not for everybody. Many people thrive in stable jobs with benefits and career growth opportunities. The key is finding what works best for you. And certifications can help you land that stable job, giving you the experience and confidence to eventually branch out if you choose to. Now, let's talk about the idea that certifications don't equate skills. And it's true that skills are crucial, but certifications Certifications often require hands-on labs and practical exams. For example, certifications like CompTIA, Cisco, and Red Hat are all well-respected because they test your practical abilities. They're not just paper credentials. They demonstrate that you can apply what you've learned in real world scenarios. Now, another important consideration is the high demand for certain skills. While it's essential to stay updated with in-demand skills, certifications can guide you on what to learn. They help you stay focused and ensure you're covering all necessary topics. Plus certifications are recognized globally making it easier for you to prove your expertise when applying for jobs or projects. Now, let's not forget about the networking opportunities that come with certifications and formal education. When you're studying for a certification or attending college, you meet peers, instructors, and industry professionals. And these connections can lead to job referrals, collaborations, and mentorship opportunities that might not be accessible when you're learning independently. So what's the away here skills and problem solving are incredibly important in the tech field but certifications and degrees still play a crucial role in shaping your career and they provide structure validation and networking opportunities that can accelerate your growth and in my opinion, the best approach is to balance both, acquiring the necessary certifications and continuously developing your skills. So make sure you keep learning, stay curious, and don't be afraid to invest in your education. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Keep It Techie channel. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future content. Also, it'd be cool if you drop a comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts on this topic. I love to hear from you. Until next time, stay techie, stay curious, and keep pushing forward. Peace.